a nice looking unit, I can tell you that. Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why if you own one of these, you absolutely need to look into this product because I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. We were contacted by a company called Giraffe Tools. The truth is, I'm never going to have something or bring something here on the farm I'm not gonna use. I don't need you know, to be storing a bunch of stuff that's garbage or things that don't serve people who own machinery or own you know, acreage or land or wanna live a rural lifestyle. This particular tool, when they reached out to me, I was like, huh, that's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I would totally like to try one of those. So we're gonna see if this thing is all it's cut out to be because if it is, I would 100% think that all of us would and have something like this on our farm if you have machinery. So come along with me. Let's have some fun today. First thing, it's heavy. So this is the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro with 100 foot auto retract hose. So there's a picture of it right there. What's pretty cool about this thing though is that if it really can retract and does a good job of doing that and the hose doesn't lose a ton of pressure at 100 feet, man, that's a game changer because that could be a lot of help, especially when you have machines like that that are huge. They're not the size of you know a small little car. So let's see what this looks like on the inside and what it comes with. This is gonna be an unboxing, even though some people can't stand them, primarily just because we gotta figure out what's in this thing and how to assemble it and how to put together. All right, so we have our nozzle, a bunch of different nozzle hoses and it looks like some hardware, some pretty big bolts. Because again, this thing's probably about 60 pounds. It's not light. Here is our Pressure Washer Pro instructions, which we never read because we don't have a lot of common sense sometimes. And here it is. Wow, it's already looks like it's already pre-done, put together. Here's the gun. Got to wrestle it out of this box. Okay, well, here you have it. Everything's pre-put together. Draft tools, permissible pressure, a 2610 PSI. It's a nice looking unit, I can tell you that. This thing is heavy duty. There's some plastic casing on it to make it look pretty, but this thing's heavy. Okay, on the back here, there's a mounting plate. That looks like it would just slide off. There's a little twist tie on here. Yeah, it looks like all you do is you just mount this to the wall and then slide the pressure washer on top of it. Pretty cool. Here's your electrical. Here's the front of it. So like I said, it's a nice looking. So the, the pressure washer's built in. This is not just a hose. It's not a lot to it. Maybe the assembly's not gonna be all that big of a deal. All right, your hose input is here. And what I like is that they put handles on here so you can mount this outside. You can slide it off of that bracket, bring it back in the house or in your garage and then store it. And then when you need it, just kind of set it on there and on that bracket again and go from there. I'm not sure if I did this damage or if this happened in shipping. Looks like it happened in shipping. Not the end of the world, but I don't know if I bought it on Amazon. I'd probably be calling them talking about that, but let's see if we can get this thing mounted and uh, go from there. So my fear along was that that fiber board was not gonna be strong enough, so I could put this plate here easily. If I put it low enough, I should be able to just hop in there and slide that thing on there. So plan B, you know, the advantage here, not everybody else is gonna have, is that this is just a barn. This doesn't have to be perfect. We really just wanna be able to ma maintain machines in here. And that's the goal, is just to be able to get something that is quick and easy, because if it's not quick and easy, it's never gonna be done. It's kind of like greasing a machine, you know? Greasing them is a royal pain, which is why nobody ever does it. <laughs> Well, sucker's on there and it ain't coming down. This is gonna work out better anyway. I was worried about over there, this press board, you know, it, it's strong, but it's, it may not be strong enough to hold this uh, 60 pound pressure washer. Plus with pulling the hose, this is gonna work out a lot better than, than the other idea. Going into these old six by sixes, this is probably gonna be strong enough to where I bet you I could just put two bolts in this thing and be fine. Still expression, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> So what we've learned you so far is that press board does not work. If you're gonna go into something like that, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have something like an impact driver. That impact driver is a lot more powerful than just a drill. I don't know that a drill would be getting into something like that, but also the kit does come with these anchors. Never been a fan of these. I've never had them succeed. You know, if the tool lasts a long time, which is what we hope, then we don't have to do this again. Let's mount it up there, see how it goes. Okay, well. 
I mean, that's on there. We have power right here, which is great, which the power cord is actually pretty a nice length too. This is probably a good, I don't know, five, six feet. Okay, this thing says the hose is 100 feet. So let's see how long this thing actually is. We're gonna go for a walk. And you can see I'm tugging on that wall where it's in there good. It's not bouncing. That was the right call. Absolutely going into the wood instead of going into the particle board. Good grief, this thing is long. <laughs> Still going. Okay, well I would say that their claim of this thing being 100 feet long is pretty spot on. Here I am, and that's where the hose is. So, pretty awesome. Let's try retracting this thing. All you do to retract it is that. Oh, oh looks like we came out a little too long. That sucker's fast. The first thing I noticed is it actually did it pretty neatly. You know, look at that, that, that looks pretty good. It's definitely 100 feet long and it definitely pulls out of the wall really easily. Take two. Do we think it can retract from here? Do we try it? In the name of science, let's try it. Whew. Uh, yeah, it retracts on its own without any issue whatsoever. I would say the test of seeing how it retracts is a smashing success. Didn't do that as neatly as I'd like, but I think if you do a little bit slower, more controlled, it would look better. Pretty awesome. All right, now we're just going through some of the accessories. I have an additional hose. I don't really know that I would need, but I probably will attach it here and then just have it hang down and attach this part to the hose coming in here. This way, it would just keep any drips. If I need to put some nylon tape or something on there, I can, if this leaks at all. It doesn't hurt to have a little dangling hose going there. This clearly goes to the pressure washer. There's an O-ring. You want to make sure the O-ring is on there. Then this thing got a little banged up in shipping. That's okay. It's a pressure washer. This goes this way. Okay, that's on there pretty good. Looks like there's something for a little bit of a you know, soap or foam canning kind of thing. This part, again, looks like this needs to go onto the side. A lot of waste on this thing. Well, we're gonna have to look at the instructions. This goes on here. I may come back with nylon tape, especially since it's indoors. I really don't want it leaking anywhere. I was right, it is a foam cannon. The foam will actually pull the dirt off the surface and then when you go to rinse it, you're not gonna have as much of an issue with dirt rubbing on the finish of your tractor or your vehicle or whatever it is. All right, so these these are the different nozzles. Looks like you can set this up to where 25 degrees, 15 degrees. Why don't we just go with 15? Or we could just go with orange because the tractor's orange. If this works as well as I think it could, this may be something that you're interested in. I'll leave the links for all this stuff from Draft Tools below. I don't get anything if you buy it. If you don't buy it, that's fine. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, then give it a thumbs down. That's fine too. I have no relationship with Giraffe Tools other than the fact they sent this to me. So far, so good. It looks great on the wall, but we need to see if it actually will wash stuff. Big fan of the fact that there's a little holder in the back for the foam cannon thing, which is really cool. It's a nice touch. There's a holder in the back here for the wand, so you don't have it just kind of dangling around. This is really what your setup is gonna look like hanging on the wall. You have your foam cannon attachment here. Hose goes in here. These are handles. Again, you can pull it off the wall if you wanna move it. This is where the wand would go. Parks right there. Probably be better if the plug wasn't right on top of it, but that's what we got. Yep. Okay, let's get some water in this thing and let's see how she shoots. It is very quiet. Okay, let's talk about this thing. So Giraffe Tools, you built a pretty cool product. It's innovative. I love the 100 foot hose. I love the fact that it's not too powerful, but it's powerful enough to get some of that grease and grime off the tractor. The best way I can describe this is if I bought this, would I be disappointed? Absolutely not. This is a great way to wash big equipment, to get out there on a tractor that's probably 20 feet long and be able to wash around it without having to move a little electric pressure washer or gas pressure washer, which is heavy. I love that it's stationary. I love that it's mounted on the wall. I love that it's inside. All I have to do in the wintertime is just unhook it, 
I would 100% say that this thing is going to save you time, save you some frustration. I don't know if it's going to last. I'll tell you. If it, if it turns out to be junk, I'll tell you, hey, listen, this thing died. But if it lasts a couple years, that's pretty strong. We will keep you up to speed on this machine. We're, we'll definitely use this. I'm not going to put things on this channel or waste your time to make a buck or to get some free stuff. That's not my interest. However, I would absolutely buy one of these things. So that's why when I was contacted by Draft Tools, I said, yep, let's put it on the channel because somebody else may have a need for something like this. So uh, appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, give us a like. We would appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet and you watch once in a while, go ahead and make the commitment. Let's subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So thank you, Draft Tools, for thinking of our channel on this. We uh, will leave all the information on the bottom little description area down there, and I will catch you in the next one. I'm Joe the Farmer. We out.